I'm scouring the world for Australia's favourite egg dish. Millions of people around the world wake up every day with eggs for breakfast. In Sri Lanka, this is how they do it. These are Sri Lankan egg hoppers. Egg hoppers are one of my favourite foods. Little cups of a rice flour and coconut dough, I guess you would call it, almost like a pancake, but with an egg cracked in the middle, nice and crispy around the edge and perfect with light Sri Lankan curries and sambals. And so I'm starting with just one packet, seven grams of dry yeast. A bit of warm water to help the yeast develop. And while that's blooming, you can start to make the rest of my batter. Two cups of rice flour. And a cup of coconut milk. Some sugar as well. The sugar is optional, but I like it because it gives the outside of the hopper a really nice golden brown color. It tastes a bit nice too. Start to mix this together. Consistency is really important for a hopper batter. And it's gonna change with the type of flour you use, the type of coconut milk you use. So you really wanna use your eye and your hands to adjust how much liquid you need to add. I'm gonna add in my bloomed yeast now. You don't have to worry too much about working your hopper batter because firstly, it's gonna rest and secondly, because it's rice flour, it doesn't contain any gluten. So if you're celiac or eating gluten-free, this is a really great egg breakfast. I'm adding just a bit of extra warm water into the batter so that the yeast can still develop. And I'm looking for the consistency of this to be something like thickened cream. I don't want to make it too thin because it's very hard to pull it back if you've made your batter too thin, but you can start with it a bit more thick. And then after we've proofed our dough, we can add a bit more water to thin it down before we cook our hoppers. The consistency you're looking for is when it comes off the whisk, in a thin, steady stream. You can see that this stream is kind of breaking up a little bit. So it's probably a bit too thick, but this is actually a pretty good consistency for now. I don't need it to be a thin, steady stream at this point. So I'm gonna put this aside, rest this for an hour or two to let the yeast proof our batter. Then when I come back, I might add a little bit of extra water to thin it down so we get a perfect hopper consistency. So this is our hopper batter now. It's still pretty thick, kind of fluffy and light though. So I'm gonna thin it down with a touch more water. Just go a bit at a time, because you don't wanna make it too thin. So let's check its consistency again. Looks pretty good. So it's time to start to cook our hoppers. For hoppers, you need one of these. This is a hopper pan. If you don't have one, you can use any small frying pan with a lid or maybe even a wok, you know, with a curved surface. They won't be quite the right shape, but if you can get your hands on a hopper pan, they will. The batter needs to go in, the egg goes on top, and the lid as well. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, the first thing you want to do is get your hopper pan up to heat. I'm going to season my batter with a bit of salt. And then wipe out the pan with some oil. Quarter cup of batter into the hopper pan and tilt the pan while you're doing this so that you can roll that batter around the sides. You don't need to go all the way to the top, but Try and think of the shape of the hopper you want. For me, about three quarters of the way up the side is fine. Now for the egg. Just crack an egg into a bowl. Just drop it into the base of the hopper. Cover it with the lid. And I'll leave that for about two to four minutes. It'll depend on your heat. 
But I'm gonna cook this for about three minutes and we'll see how we go. Now don't take the lid off the hopper pan to check how it's going while it's cooking because you need the steam inside there to cook both the hopper and the egg. Three minutes have passed, so let's see how we've done. Beautiful. The egg's just set. Just tease it away from the side of the pan. This is a non-stick hopper pan, so it's nice and easy. Shake it out. Perfect egg hopper. I'll make a few more. They look fantastic. Egg hoppers. They just look amazing. They smell fantastic too. I just want to finish them with a touch of salt for the eggs. And a bit of black pepper too. Egg hoppers, there is nothing better to eat with some coconut sambal and Sri Lankan curries. You can tear them up and sort of dip them in or even put the curries into the hoppers themselves. You can even put bacon and baked beans in them if you want to. But are they Australia's favorite egg dish? Don't forget to vote for your favorite.